Hello, fellow humans, and welcome back to Just Me Updates. Some of you may have already heard it. Just Me just announced that they have hired a couple of new key managers for the Just Me project. And I think it's worth to go step by step to all of the new hires and analyze who they are and what they can contribute to the success of the Jasmine project. This is exactly what we will do today in this video. I have at the end of the video also some brand new information about the Jasmine project to share with you. So please uh, stay with me until the end of the video. Of course, a disclaimer, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research. To help you with your own research, I will leave all of the sources that I use to make this video in the description down below. So please use them to do your own research. So let's start with the first person, Tadashi Morita. Starting from February, Tadashi Morita will join the Jasmine team as chief security officer and senior strategist in the field of information and cybersecurity. He has a super impressive track record. That's why I also need the list. He was actually joining the Sony Corporation in 1971 as an engineer and was working on over 100 patents during his time at Sony. One of his major achievements is the development and standardization of the NFC technology, so near-field communication, what you use, for example, when you pay with your mobile phone. Already during his time at Sony, he was advising the top management of Sony in information and cybersecurity. Since 2013, he was working at the Sony Computational Science Laboratory on DC microgrids and IoT systems. So he brings already some experience in the field of IoT. One major point is also that he was key contributor for a standard called IEC 62853. The name of it is Open System Dependability. I was looking a little bit into it. I will leave also the link uh, down below uh, to that standard. It's basically deals with accountability and availability of open systems. Open systems are systems, for example, like IoT systems. So he was working already on that standard. That means he has a lot of experience with open system, open system security, and accountability in open systems. And this will be very, very helpful for his work at Jasmine. The next person I want to talk about is Takashi Hakivara, who will join the Jasmine team as director of the board and head of software development. There is not much information about him out there on the internet. So I have to go with what I found on the Jasmine page. According to the Jasmine page, he was before president of Sony Digital Network Applications. Sony Digital Network Applications is a software development company in the Sony group. So they're developing different software packages for, for uh, the Sony group. Um, then he was deputy head of Vayu in mobile business group while it was still part of Sony. So Vayu was actually a, a subsidiary of uh, Sony and then became its own company. So, while it was at Sony, he was um, deputy head of that, of that part of the company. There's also a position mentioned as CEO of Vision Arts that is belonging to the Sony group. However, I could not find any company or daughter company of Sony with the name of Vision, Vision Arts. However, there is a company called Visual Arts that is also connected to PlayStation. I could, however, not find any information about him being CEO of that company. So I don't know if this is a mistake, a typo, whatever it is, I hope we will find out soon what it actually means. Also since 2020, he was head of software development for the Sony Corporation. That means he has a long track record of delivering large scale, complicated and big project in the software development space. This is already a hint that Jasmine is working on something big. I really hope that it's their own blockchain. The next person on my list actually also hints into this direction, so stay tuned. If you enjoy the video so far, then please leave a like and consider to subscribe to my channel because it really keeps me motivated to make new videos. So let's go with the next person. Next on my list is Shengu. 
he will join the Jasmine team as chief information officer and has a background as a Python programmer. So he was working in a lot of different positions uh, in fields of IoT, transportation, and so on as a Python programmer. But what is interesting, his recent employer is not mentioned on the Jasmine page. It's, it's a company, according to his LinkedIn page, called centrality.ai. According to their LinkedIn page, they're now called SansNet. And what, they have, what they're actually doing is they have developed a blockchain system that implements different application on blockchain level to bring enterprise solutions. This is super interesting because this is a super strong hint that Jasmine starts to develop their own blockchain system, which would be amazing news for all investors in the Jasmine project. Hidehiko Kakinuma is a person we all have waited for to join the Jasmine team. He will actually take care about marketing in the future. That's amazing because that was one of the major points discussed on Reddit, on Discord, in, on Facebook, everywhere where Jasmine was discussed was a horrible marketing situation that Jasmine currently has. So we're all happy that he is joining the team to take care about marketing. He actually was working before as well, of course, for the Sony Corporation uh, and for connected businesses, different banks, uh, insurance companies, all connected to the Sony Group, mostly in marketing, product development, and sales development. All three, of course, super important for Jasmine in the future. So I'm really, really looking forward to him taking the lead in marketing sales strategy and so on to really push Jasmine forward because what was really missing was great marketing and great investor engagement and of course also use case development. This is the most important thing. And I think all of these points Hidehiko will take care of. So we're all very happy that he has joined the team. First of all, I want to give a big shout out and a big thanks to the Jasmine community. These videos would not be possible without you. On Reddit, Discord, Facebook, Telegram, and so on, there's a lot of people searching out information and helping me to make these videos. So thanks a lot for your help and support. And I would really, really suggest you, if you're interested in Jasmine, to join the Jasmine community on Reddit, on Discord, Telegram, Facebook, or wherever else you will find them. Now to the news. Bybit recently listed Jasmine USDT derivatives, which will allow more investors to invest in the Jasmine coin. This is great news for existing investors, but also for people who want to invest in Jasmine. Additionally, there was in Japan a data leak recently that leaked confidential information about Japanese citizens um, Hiroshi Harada, the CFO of Jasmine, directly tweeted and offered help uh, for the Japanese government to implement a solution like Jasmine to avoid such data leaks in the future. I think this is a huge application of Jasmine and I think a huge chance for Jasmine, but also the Japanese government and governments all over the world. There is also new information and evidence about the relation between Jasmine and Sony. So I think next week or the week after, there will be enough information collected by me and, and the Jasmine community to actually make another video. So stay tuned for this. And until then, see you. Bye.